Hey everyone, welcome to Jump Form. My name is Kimberly, and today I'm going to show you how simple and easy it is to embed any of your Jump Forms into your Squarespace website. All right, if you don't already have a form created, you're definitely going to want to start there. So you'll head up to the top, click on Create a Form. But for me, I already have a form that I have already made for my Squarespace site. So we're going to go ahead and use that. It's this very first one that says Contact Information. I'm going to go in to Edit Form. You can see it is a very simple. It's just their name, their email, and how can I support them? What we're going to want to do is go up to Publish, and then over on the left-hand side where it says Embed. Now, we have a lot of options to choose from, so let's go ahead and let's start with the first one. I'm going to go ahead and click Copy Code, then I'm going to head over to my Squarespace site. All right, so over on the left-hand side is pretty much our navigational menu. I'm going to go ahead and go to Pages because I want that form to be embedded on my contact page. So I'm going to go ahead and click Contact, and you can see it's just a blank website right now. So I'm going to go up and click on Edit. Then I'm going to hover over the different sections. So right here, there's a little plus sign. I'm going to go ahead and click the plus sign. This box pops open. I'm going to go ahead and choose code, and I'm going to erase what is already there, and I'm going to paste in this script. I'm going to go ahead and click Apply. Now, this might be a little scary, but don't worry. Right now, it says Script Disabled. That's because we're in the Edit view. We need to go ahead and go up to the top where it says Done. Click on Save Changes. And then you can see our form is perfectly embedded into the website. Now, one thing that I want to mention is you can see it doesn't really fit my brand, the gray and then we have the green button. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back over to my Jot form and we're going to make some edits. I'm going to head to build and I'm going to change the background color to white and then the submit button. I am going to change that to that nice gray color. Now something else to consider is you can see there's this shadow around the outside. So one way to get rid of that shadow is to go up to form designer, up to themes. Right now we're on the default theme, but the best way to make this change is just go back to the old default template. So I'm going to go ahead and use this and you can see that shadow is now gone. So I'm going to go back up here and colors and then change this back to white and we should be good to go. So let's head back to our Squarespace site. All right, look at that. We didn't have to do any more copying and pasting of the code. Whatever changes you make to your form in JotForm will immediately and automatically update in your Squarespace site. So if you have any questions about embedding a form in your Squarespace site, just drop it down below. We'll be happy to help. See you later.